For the second time in the night, we see Rob Perry, and the immediate question that comes to mind is what did he do with Muhammad Ali by end? Following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the Welsh Colossus, Rob Perry. This is what you call a case king of circumstantial evidence. You have Perry standing well. at ringside with peculiar behavior, annihilating Constantine last week. Now Ali, they, they, no shows a title match? They claim you can't convict on circumstantial evidence, but... This is looking mighty dreary against Mr. Terry. comes Mr. to the ring with the television title, throws it into the ring, and now, after a forfeit, Tony Gunn's the champ. Incredible. Earlier in the night, it was Jamin Olavincia, high octane 200%, who said he was going to do something that smooth Johnny Spade couldn't beat Rob Perry Fair one and on square. one. His opponent from Buffalo, New York, Shaman Olivencia. And just look. Look at the picture that we have in the ring, Kenny. I got to ask. Has Jamin bitten off more than he could chew? Well, you take a look at him. Look at the slab of meat he decided he wants to gnaw on. I'd, I'd say no. I'd say, well, I'd say, yeah, he's bitten off way more than he can chew. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look who's here! The OVW Heavyweight Champion! You gonna come join us? Look at the looks on Blue Johnny Jason. Come on over here! Well, speaking of biting off more than they can chew, they wondered if Olivencia bit off more than he could chew by taking on Rob Terry. Johnny Spade, I gotta ask you right off the bat, did you bite off more than you can chew getting in that little insult contest and backstage locker room a private information contest you got into? Because I noticed you were the one that was left standing there not saying a word. Yeah, to be absolutely clear, I was coming out to let bygones be bygones, but he wanted to keep this thing alive, and what he said, in my opinion, crossed the line. I'm not going to argue with you with that, with that at all. Kenny, you did, he did cross the line. I'm not. I'm, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. I'm not going to lie. They both do barbs back and me, forth. Kenny, I, I, I'm sitting here. I've been, it's been bothering me in the back since I went back there after he said it. Cover here. Well, you know what you brought up to him. Uh, you brought up a little something that normally Again. remains private in a locker room. We're not like uh, some other companies that print this stuff out on the Internet and put it out. If that crap happens here, it normally stays private information backstage. You took it upon yourself to make sure that didn't happen. So what do you got to say for yourself? Well, you embarrassed him. You know, there was a lot of shots that have been thrown. There's a lot of people hitting right in the heart. And, and, there's, you know, and below the belt. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. But what he said, especially bringing my father well, into this, yeah, that's no joke. I agree with you. You probably shouldn't bring family into Call this. Call me out all you, you want to, but you want to really strike a chord. Well, I'll tell you what, that's what he just did. Well, Smooth Johnny Spade, it completely changed your demeanor. We normally see a, a, a champ with a smile on his face, full of high energy. That cover here, cover here, that is not the man that we're seeing right now. And, and has that gotten into your head? Oh, I'm going to be professional about this. I'm going to do everything I can. Sure, does it bother me? Absolutely it bothers me. But right now I've got to stay focused because I've got a title match on August 4th against that man, Jamin Olivencia, which I still plan on winning. So Jamin comes out at the beginning of the night and says he's going to do something that you couldn't do. He is going yes. to beat Rob Terry one-on-one, -on -one, toe -to toe in the ring, nobody else but just them. You want me to be honest with you, Gilbert? What show is he watching? I do recall beating Rob Terry quite a few times one-on-one. -on -one. But he points out the fact that you were the last guy to come in in the gauntlet and that you got him when he was Kenny, at his weakest. Let me ask you something, Kenny. Yeah, Whether wasn't. you're getting uh, picked the first or the last, what would you rather have? I'd rather have the last. And I'll sure, and that. I didn't ask for it, but it was given to me. And God hold, I brought home the gold. That's what he keeps pointing out. It was given Chops to here. you. Yeah, it wasn't did, given it, to did me. Did you hear that ring, Johnny? It was given to you. That spot was given to me. Well, I'd like to know who said gave it, it yourself. To me. You said it yourself. And again, I asked the question. And, and I, I don't know Jamin's how they problem choose, Kenny. You know that. Damon thinks you've been given too much. Well, they need to take that up with the office. It has nothing to do with me. I did my job when my but job was asked me to do it. But it does seem somewhat circumstantial that you keep getting a lot of these breaks that a lot of the other wrestlers don't get. 
And I'll point it out, Jamin's gotten a few too. When you go away and go perform in movies and plays and the Broadway and all this, you like shouldn't come back else. to number I one contender. I busted my butt. I've been here a year and a half straight. I've been here for a total of about seven years in my career. I don't feel like I've been given anything. I busted my ass, and you know that more I'll than anybody. I'll be the first to agree with that. Nineteen first seven years, years old when I walked in this door, crap. you were I'll there. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. First seven years. You didn't get anything, but boy, you sure seem to be getting a break. I feel like I've earned it, Kenny. I don't feel like I've been given anything. But was this the wisest decision now of Jamin Olavencia, who is now heading into an OVW heavyweight title match against you, Johnny Spade, August 4th at the Saturday Night Special, and is now, anytime you step into the ring with with uh, Rob Terry, that's a fight for your life. He's in a fight for his life Absolutely. right now. Absolutely. I don't think he knows what he got involved in. I've been in the ring with Rob numerous occasions. By the way, if he's such a Perry. beast... Flexing his powers, it's going to be it. By the way, I don't think anyone's been in the ring with Rob Terry more than I have in this company, and I've come out with quite a few victories in that little series, yeah, if I do recall. You have. Quite a few bumps and bruises. Sure, who wouldn't? Look at him. So are you watching now Jamin's plan of attack in this match? Well, I'm not the size of Rob Terry. I'm going to have, I mean, if, he, if he's smart, he would, and you know what? I'm not even going to reveal that. Because obviously, if I want to give him any kind of strategy, that's going to be a ridiculous move on my part. I mean, he's not going to be able to hear you right now, but you've been in the ring with Terry a lot of times. Yes. What do you know about fighting him? How about hard? fighting Rob? I thought you meant about fighting me. Okay, yes, I got you yes. here. About I mean, fighting Rob, Rob Terry. you've got to stay with it. You've got to be persistent. It's a big man. He's hard to get down. Once you get him down, you could get him rocking. You've got a shot. Now, you don't have to put I him back. down. He's the same size you this are. This isn't isn't boxing. You don't have to put him down for 10 seconts, but if you can get him for the one, two, three, you got your shot at a win. And on his back, get he's that. the same size you are. Exactly. Actually, when I'm looking down, he's smaller. Well, I'm not trying to uh, pick favorites here out of you or, or Olivenzi. I'm just asking the question. I understand, Kenny. This is your job. The thing, the thing I got to ask now is that has he gotten into your head? Has he brought up family issues that you didn't want divulged out here for Kenny, everybody you ever to know? Have you had something happen at home, but you got to turn right back around and go do your job at work? Oh, oh, yeah, Ooh, absolutely. That was nasty. Yeah, right there. Jamin Olavencia starts we, to rally to that. back. That beast, that mammoth of a man, Rob Terry, takes his head off. And you know why he called out Rob Terry tonight. He wants to, he in wants front to of you, something. beat a guy fair and square. He doesn't think you beat him fair and yeah, square. Yeah, right. I don't know what he's watching. And he's, and he's trying to get in your head. And if he gets a win right here tonight, fair Kudos square, to him. You think so? You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't think that'll change your opinion any? I could care less. I mean, right. I know he's a tough competitor. That doesn't take okay. away from anything. And like you I said, if I go saying. to work every day, and if you've got a personal issue, you've got to leave it behind. And that's what I'm trying to do and focus on this match. All the way up, he oh, takes he the big man down. Just like that, out of nowhere. Problem. Going on gut instinct. I, it's the leader of the dog pound. I've, putting Terry on his back. I've tried to live by that as well, Johnny. Personal problems, stay at home. Don't bring them to work with you. Well, both of you brought a lot of them to work today. Cover here. Is this going to do uh -oh. it? Is this going to do it? No. What? The best team ever. Referee Chris Sharp doing out this match. Well, look at this. Look what Johnny's, Johnny's doing. Here into the ring, and he's going in there. Johnny. We saw this last week. Johnny is saving Olivencia's butt again. It looks like here, Delbert. We are seeing Jamin Olivencia and Smooth Johnny Spade fighting on the same side here. Spade coming to the rescue of Olivencia, and I, I got to wonder why would he do that, Kenny? He don't want Olivencia having any complaints about what condition he's in at the, at the Saturday Night Special. I'll guarantee you what it is. Respect. Your winner by disqualification. Could be a little of it. Jamin Olivencia. So Jamin Olivencia gains victory. Whoa! Oh. Talk about my daddy again. Is that respect? That's, that's don't talk about my daddy. That's what that is. Smooth Johnny Spade just up the ante. He might have had that one coming. The stakes just got a little bit higher for the Saturday Night Special. For the Star Maker, Kenny Bowen, I'm Gilbert